Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So we're here at Qualcomm, and you have a, a demonstration about enhanced multimedia. What do you show? So we're showing the 7X30, which is our next generation smartphone platform, and uh, we're showcasing um, its, its multimedia capabilities on our uh, demonstration and development devices. So what you're seeing here are four video clips being played back simultaneously and independently controlled, so I can pause one and then another. And really this is more of a concept uh, in terms of the kinds of things you can build into applications you know, coming forward in terms of multimedia. The 7X, uh, uh, X30, what do you say? This, this so X30? it's an integrated modem, yeah. apps processor, and multimedia engine. So uh, all in a, into a single chip and really targeted at mainstream smartphones. And uh, that processor is, is in the future, it's not yet in the, in the market? Well, it's sampling, as you can see, and devices will come later on, uh, you know, from our partners. Is that the, the one that's called the uh, Scorpion? Uh, it has a Scorpion CPU, yes, in there. Yeah, so yeah. that's the next, next, next level. Well, this one, it's using a similar CPU that you see in the uh, uh, Snapdragon devices over there. Nexus One? Uh, uh, correct. Yeah. yeah, same CPU, yeah. but in a smartphone uh, targeted device. Smartphone targeted device. So right now, these, these uh, prototypes, uh, is this the first time you show these? Uh, yeah, it's the first time we see you show these prototypes. And you're playing four different uh, videos at the same time? Uh, uh, which are each of them, uh, what resolution is it? Uh, each of them are uh, white PVGA, 30 frames per second. So 800 times uh, 40? Yeah. That's right, that's so the, you fill up the screen. Because how high how, how your resolution is this one? The display is white PVGA. White PVGA? Ah, so each video is, it's not white PGA videos? It's white, it's quarter and white PGA. And uh, over there you're outputting HDMI. Correct, so we're showing um, HD video playback both on the main display as well as on HDMI. So it plays both at the same time? Correct. Can you say something about uh, how, how much you can, you can um, achieve in terms of uh, bitrate and codecs? Well, this is what you're showing here is an H.264 codec. Uh, it's a 720p clip. 720p clip, H.264. Uh, can right. you support high profile? Uh, yeah, we can. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would be the bitrate limitation? Can you? Play? Well, it, it depends on the platform, but we're not really disclosing that yeah. uh, right now. But you know. Okay, it's just uh, uh, if there are those hey, MKB files that are on the internet, you know, like the MKB movies so, so, I mean, and TV shows. We're compliant to the spec, and we play high profiles. So you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you would, you would be able to play uh, movies in the high profile H.264. Absolutely. Yeah. And. Uh, can we go on the other side? Sure. Uh, Actually, uh, let me show you the, the game here. Um, so here what we have is an OpenGL ES 2.0 uh, game that's been ported to this device. And uh, you can see the kind of performance. Let me go back, actually. Uh, and uh, uh, put it in, uh, in demo mode. And so again, this is a white VGA, uh, you know, screen, and we're rendering at over 30 frames per second. You see the content; it's actually quite compelling, uh, and the performance is, uh, is excellent. And this is the, you know, uh, kind of game that you would see on consoles. Yeah, I think the console. You ported what did you say? The game was uh, was ported to Android by uh, the developer. From what platform? Uh, well, actually, it was developed for, for headsets. Do you know if uh, your processor, this one, could support uh, emulators of games like uh, yeah. Nintendo 64, uh, Dreamcast? Is that powerful enough for that? Uh, someone would have to try it and see. Yeah. And what are you showing here? Uh, here we have a Flash 10.1 plugin uh, for uh, for the Android browser. So if you if you see here, we're actually running the uh, uh, desktop version of YouTube. Nice. You can go in full screen. Uh, you, yeah, you could, uh, but really what, what we're trying to demonstrate is that uh, you know you don't have to. Uh, Run the mobile version anymore. You actually have access to the full content that's nice. out there on YouTube and the, and the desktop version. And you can also play Flash applications as well. 
Is there a multi touch? Uh, no, not, I don't think in this particular one. Oh. You just quit. Sorry, sorry, I quit it. Sorry. Um, right here we uh, were demonstrating a um, concept user interface based on OpenGL ES 2.0. But it's not shaking because I shake it, no? Uh, no, it's shaking because you touch here. So if you look at the, the quality of the graphics, uh, so again, this is based on Android. And if I go up... This, this is Android? This is, this is on Android, yeah. Android is highly customizable, actually. And, uh, you know, as you can see here, we've kind of skinned it uh, using this, this uh, user interface. This is and like crazy. It's, it's really to demonstrate the, the types of um, experiences that our customers can build now for, uh, for these Whoa. devices. When you do all this 3D stuff in the user interfaces, how much more more uh, battery power does it use to do all this 3D stuff? Uh, it's all it's all appropriate for mobile devices. I mean, it's the kind of you know same similar power consumptions that you'll see on you know handsets today. But when you do 3D uh, menus and animated menus, right, and 3D home screen in Android, it uses some battery, right, to do a little bit. Correct. Yeah, like Can I said, about how much? I mean. Uh, the Android user interface is actually based on OpenGL ES 2.0, so you have that already in Android. Um, and now here what we're doing is we're just um, having some content that's a little bit more compelling uh, than the standard you know, uh, vanilla version of Android. So this is a demonstration of what's possible, and, but you, you don't provide uh, designs uh, no, we're, yeah, we're not we're not in the business of selling user interfaces. We really just wanted to uh, promote, demonstrate what we can do. And here, something also. Um, here, we're uh, working with one of the demonstrating also third-party apps. You know, we've got a partner uh, company that we've uh, uh, that has ported their application onto the platform. And uh, what these guys do is audio post processing. And that's only possible in a new chip. Um, no, they're, they're, it's, uh, it's available, I think, on other platforms as well, but I uh, don't want to showcase, showcase that here. So, so uh, just to clarify, this is uh, the next version, the next generation uh, Snapdragon, and then there's also the Scorpion coming even later, right? Sorry, can the, you repeat the question? This is the next, the next generation the Snapdragon processor for our smartphones. Correct. It's a it's a Scorpion processor. It's it's a, a, a chipset, a multimedia chipset for smartphones. And, and uh, because what's officially announced, you know, there was some announcements by Qualcomm uh, or some uh, some interviews uh, where uh, one of the main guys at uh, Qualcomm said something about the Scorpion coming out in the timeline and stuff like that. But uh, so this one is is. How soon, how soon will we see a Nexus, uh, Nexus 2 with this kind of processor inside? So, so an HDMI mean, our, and our, par our partners are already working with them, and later this year you will see devices with this in, uh, in, in production. So it could be any, any time from next month to eight months from now? Uh, yeah, later, later this year. Later this year. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks. You're welcome.